if you observe, there are two transformations, two changes that have occurred. One is promoted headers. Okay. Next, the change in data type. This change in data type has occurred automatically. Did you observe? Yes. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, how it is happening is see when you when you uh, uh, move this top row to this column header, mm -hmm. then what uh, Power BI is doing is it will scan through initial few records. Okay. It will scan through for each column, it will scan through initial few records. And based on its understanding of that particular data, so it will decide the data type. Okay. So earlier we had a trans date here and also these dates. So there are mixed data types. So when there are mixed data type, the data type, you uh, know, column uh, data type would be a text data type. Okay. Are you all getting this data types would be automatically detected by Power BI, but sometimes there can be errors. So when there are errors as a business analyst or data analyst, we are supposed to, you know, ensure that data types are correctly recognized by Power BI. Okay. If they are not recognized or identified by Power BI correctly, we need to change the data type. Are you getting? Yes, yes. Okay. Now here it is, you know, date and time. You can see the data types. You can see the symbols here. Are you able to see the calendar and the clock? Yes. Okay. Call calendar and clock means calendar is meant for date data type. Clock is meant for time data type. Okay. So by the way, here you can see different data types. One is date and time. Another is date that will have only date there is no time component and third one is time only time will be available date will not be available and we have numeric data type and numeric data type will have numbers okay like here are you able to see numeric data type okay and we have boolean value also boolean values will be like true false pass fail or zero one, okay, like these things. So here, let us do one transformation here. So here, S or no is there, okay. So for all S's, we will mention it as true, okay. For all no, we will make it as false. And then we will change the data type of this column to boolean. Now let us select this column urgent. You can see the uh, data profile here, okay. So we have two distinct values. One is no, another is S. You can see the uh, distribution of these things, okay? So these things are available only when we check these things, okay? Data column quality, column distribution, column profile. Okay, now, let us replace the values, okay? So wherever no is there, we'll replace with false. You can see replace, it has replaced the value, okay? Now wherever S is there, let us replace with true. Okay, now, now we can change this column data type to Boolean data type. Now you are asking a question in this column, whether it is urgent or not. Okay, are you getting? So if it is urgent, uh, urgent or not means urgent, true or false. That means what it is Boolean data type, isn't it? So instead of ABC, let us change it just if you want to change the data type click on this data type icon okay here abc or you know this uh, calendar okay and clock click on that okay so now you will have these different data types we have decimal number fixed decimal number whole number percentage 
date and time, date, time, date, time, zone, duration, text, true, false. Okay. So let us select true, false. That is Boolean value. See, uh, Boolean values are true or false. Those are recognized by any uh, program like Power BI or any such program. Okay. So if you put some other value, say instead of true, if you write, say, uh, 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 something like magic. So for S, if you replace it with magic. Now this magic word will not be recognized as Boolean value. So the, uh, the whole purpose of it is we want to convert this column into, we want to transform this column into Boolean data type. So Boolean values are true or false. Okay. So now let us just change the data type to true or false. Okay. Are you able to see the icon? True or false icon? Boolean data type icon. Okay. So this way we can transform the columns uh, data types. Okay. 